Hi, Xander. How's it going? You're right. Yeah, good. Thanks, Steph. Good. Yeah, good. Thank you. Just wanted to start off with a general question. Um, there's been a lot of criticism of rugby in general at the moment. Scotland seems to be opting for a more hard to beat strategy. What do you make of the style of rugby that we're seeing in general at the moment? And do you understand why some fans are finding it a little bit boring? I do understand some of the fans' frustrations, but as a player, I think uh, teams are getting a lot. Defence is improving, attacks improving. It's, it's hard to score points. It's hard to gain territory and possession. So um, I just feel the, score, the sport as a whole in the, in the late era is a sort of growing. So um, I understand it can be frustrating for fans to watch, but if, uh, if you could try to create those mismatches, it isn't as easy as it used to be. And so... Um, I wouldn't say it's boring. There are still a few nuggets um, and uh, they have to be patient. And I think everyone's doing it. It's not like this is one team doing it. You know, everyone's improving, and, which is great for the sport. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I'm a front row. I'm not kicking the ball. Um, I don't like it because I have to run to and from, but it is where it is. Um, and that's how you win games. So, and that's the main thing is winning. So. In terms of the direction that Scotland in particular are going, did you feel this was a necessary change to go from this sort of fastest rugby to the uh, more pragmatic and being uh, more defensively solid? I think we've always had the attack, you know, um, love playing quick ball and tempo. And I feel our defence improved massively. We're still not the finished article, though. Um, and so, yeah, no, it's an exciting time to be part of the squad. And I feel we're building our overall game um, every week. So really privileged to be part of this team. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Um, it's a it's a it's a twenty three man squad game, and and you know every player counts. But that said, were you still a little disappointed to be on the bench? Are you the sort of guy who wants to be starting every single test for Scotland? I'm lying to you, I said I don't want to start every game, um, but at the same time, it was an opportunity for my role to change. Um, and as you said, you look, look at our performances before, you know, take Wales, for example, the bench came on, massive impact um, and really want us to get that, that game done there and uh, secure the win. So it's just a different role um, having 35, uh, 40 minutes, or half a game to be as explosive and be as um, busy as possible instead of starting into a game and doing that 60 minutes long. So uh, I wasn't gutted, it just changed my role and then changed my view on the game. Looking ahead to Saturday, obviously you've been to Dublin already this season and it was a, it was a tight one and, and probably a few regrets about how it ended up. Is this sort of a second chance, a chance to make amends? Yeah, no, I think it left me a few opportunities to win the game back in, uh, when was it? How long time ago? Was it February, March? Right, the start of yeah. February. Yeah, For, yeah oh, 10 months ago. You know? So um, we definitely grew as a team from there and we've got a few new threats and improved in a few areas that we didn't have I think the contact area, especially down there um, in February, wasn't where it needed to be. You know, they, they, they got off the hook quite a few times in that area. So definitely be looking at that this week. But yeah, no, it's a great opportunity against a, a top a top class team and to have a, go down there and have a crack, you know, and hopefully come third in this competition. Cheers, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, Andrew Bull. Andrew from PA. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry, Xander. Yeah, sorry. You touched on the um, the win down in Wales a couple of weeks ago. I think it's ten years since Scotland have won in Dublin. Could you say how important sort of winning on the road that Wales victory was for the squad as a whole? And looking ahead to this weekend, going to Dublin. I think. Um, we had this reputation of not being able to win on the road. Um, I think we go into every game winning and I just think sometimes home advantage for opposition just sometimes comes into a little bit, you know, when we were pretty gutted and kicking ourselves after that Ireland game back in February. So, um, yeah, no, I'm not, not looking at games going by, the history of not being Ireland in however long, but um, going to this game with the real, um, we've got a great opportunity to get a win down there and uh, we'll do everything we can. Um, and it would be the exact same if it was at home. So it's nothing about it too much, but uh, looking forward to getting the win. Uh, and can I just ask, finally, what sort of challenge you're expecting from the Irish pack and what you've made of them so far in the autumn? 
Oh, they're always a very physical um, pack. Um, we've got some great players. You know, I played against Andrew Porter for many years. Um, Keegan as well, veteran. They've got James Ryan and CJ Stan in the back row. So, yeah, nah, it's always going to be. It's always a physical encounter. It doesn't matter if you're playing domestically or internationally. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to a physical contact, a physical confrontation, um, if selected. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a tough 18 minute slog, but definitely think we've got the pack to do it. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, okay, should we move on to the 10th game of Friday? Uh, Steve, you have to get some of the way. 